Greetings PAL Worldians! Looking to set up a PAL World dedicated server? Excellent! Keep watching! In this video I will cover how to rent a PAL World server through Hostinger quick and easy. It will enable you to get up and running with a minimal amount of fuss so that you can get your world running and give you and your friends a great opportunity to play together. If you're hesitant due to never having set up a PAL World server in the past, let me take you through the step by step process on how to get this up and running, how to configure and then logging in and playing. I will put in chapters in the video so you can skip forward or backwards to find the relevant information. First up, let's head to the Hostinger website. I'm providing my link as you can see on the screen hostinger.com slash vidui42, also available in the description of the video. Furthermore, I do have a discount code which will give you an additional 10% discount on 12 month and longer packages. And this is going to make it an even better deal. I will show you how to take advantage of this as well. Let's start with the basic. What are we renting and why Hostinger? Without going into excruciating boring details, normally when providers offer game server hosting, they basically have you run your server lumped together with a bunch of other game servers. Everyone shares their resources like RAM and CPU, so if one service is heavily utilized, then your game will also be slowed down. And this is because you're all sharing the same resources. Hostinger offers what's called a VPS, a virtual private server. Basically, it's a dedicated assigned virtual server with specified resources that are used by you and only you. On top of this VPS, the PAL World game server is then installed and managed in a very easy to use website interface. There are also security provisions such as malware scanner, firewall and backups to protect you. Hostinger comes with excellent reviews across multiple review sites as you can see, from Trustpilot to Google, HostAdvice and WP Beginner. As a global provider, they have servers in many countries, from North and South America to Europe and Asia, giving you the option of where to host your Palworld server. Even better, they offer an unprecedented 30-day money-back guarantee. Other major game service providers offer generally a standard 48 to 72 hour money back guarantee. But 30 days is outstanding. This should set your mind at ease that they provide a high quality service. All right, now that I've explained the what and the why, let's turn to how. There are currently two main options for running a PAL World server. We have Game Panel 2 suitable for a small server with a couple of friends and a Game Panel 4 setup for servers with more players. I will be focusing on Game Panel 4 which offers outstanding value with 16GB of RAM. It's got the resources to run the game smoothly for you and your gaming community. You of course always have mod support, full root access, DDoS protection and backups for security. Let's click Add to Cart. We now get to choose the rental period. As you can see, you get a hefty discount by signing up for 12 or 24 month period. But wait, these prices are without the 10% discount that I'm going to be giving you, which will give you even more value upfront. I will be selecting a 24 month period because it has the best value proposition. You can do shorter periods. However, be aware that the promotional renewal prices is higher for shorter periods and it will kick in sooner. But hold on you say, I might not be running my PAL World server for 24 months. Alright, that is fair. I will be showing you why that's actually much less of an issue. Remember, I highlighted that you're actually not renting a game server, but a whole virtual private server. This is where a massive benefit shows up. You can actually run multiple game servers one after another or even at the same time if you choose to with a higher plan 4. This for instance enables you to run a PAL world server for let's say 9 months and then you shift over to 7 days to die or in shrouded or maybe you run PAL world on weekdays and every Sunday you have a gaming team play on your in shrouded server for a few hours before you start up PAL world again. Maybe you run both at the same time. You have the flexibility and only because you're renting a VPS. As long as you keep within the resources you can run what you want and I will show you how. You will need to create an account or log in with Google or Facebook. Select the payment means and fill out the details. Before you submit payment, click on have a coupon code. Don't forget this. Enter Vidui42, click apply and see that nice 10% additional discount be applied. We're now at $13.49 per month effectively. Having run game servers for many years on multiple providers, I can tell you that this is an extremely competitive value proposition. And this gives you 16GB of dedicated RAM and 4 vCPUs to boot. 
End step, submit the secure payment, of course, when you filled everything out and get yourself set up with a password. If any, the first thing to do will be to set up the virtual private server. This can pop up immediately or if you log in separately, follow the steps, get to the home page, and there will be an account action and you click set up. The key part to getting the VPS is to choose the location. We're going to choose United States. Continue. You have to put in a password. It will tell you that we're going to set up in United States. It'll be Devin 11 and this is the host name and you click the finish setup. The system will now get your VPS running in the background. So grab yourself some coffee and come back. Setup is done. Let's go manage it. We are now on what's called the H panel. If you log in separately, you want to go to the VPS tab at the top. You want to click on panel access and click the login URL. Because it is your own server, you probably have not paid for any certificate to do HTTPS. You might get a warning saying that, hey, it's not secure. That's expected. Simply continue to site. We are now at the game panel, which is where the fun stuff begins. Log in with admin and the password that you set previously. All game hosting is available through the website for ease of use. We've arrived at the high level view of what game server instances are running. And we can see we have a Debian 11. We have eight gigabyte in this case, because this is a test setup for me and it's running on some AMD hardware. We have two cores and two threads. If you had ordered the recommended with 16 gigabyte, it would be reflected up here with more cores and more threads. Now for a very quick but important review of terminology, we're going to be creating an instance. An instance is not the actual game server. Rather, it's a box which then contains the server. This helps keep your different game servers separate. This is also what enables you to say, open one box and run a pal world server, and then shut it down and close it and then open another box with say seven days to die. This is that huge benefit of using a VPS compared to a traditional game server hosting. You can set up a number of servers and use them as long as the active running servers don't exceed your available resources. So we create the instance, we select Palworld as the application, we name it very 42 is Palworld instance, we're also going to have it update and start once. That will make so that once it's been installed, it will update it to the latest Palworld server software and start it. We're also going to leave it ticked in to start instance on boot. This means that when the VPS is restarted for any reason, such as maintenance, it will also start up this instant and thus the game server. And as we click create instance, it will work in the background and download and configure everything. And you're now the proud owner of a new little baby Palworld server. Great stuff. Let's say we wanted to set up a seven days to die server as well. We could do that. Simply select a different application, do the same thing and create another instance. You just want to make sure that you don't exceed the available resources. So you might be able to run two small servers, but you wouldn't be able to run 10 at the same time. You could run one, shut it down and then run another though. Well, let's get into this box. So click on it and Click manage. As you can see, because we instructed it to update a pal world, it's actually doing that right now as well and hasn't quite completed, even though it's uh, part way there. The game server has been updated and on this instance page, we can see 2% CPU usage, memory is 1.16 out of almost 80 gigabytes and there's no active users and the application is running. We can also see the different ports here and SFTP for FTP, of course, the game port, the query port and the Archon ports. We're going to click configuration here on the left side and go to the Palworld server settings. This brings you to the main server settings, such as the name. You can also set a description and I would suggest set a password. Next up, let's go to the Palworld gameplay settings on the left. There are quite a number here, such as the death penalty. You probably want to enable multiplayer. You might want to set the base camp limit to, let's say three to start off, because if everyone has 15 bases, your map is going to be really cluttered. You can also tweak the pal world multiplier settings. If you want nighttime to go faster, well, why not just change it to two and nighttime will go twice as fast as daytime. I would say leave things on default unless they're sure what you're changing because they do affect gameplay. A final important piece is how to make yourself admin in the game. You go to the security and privacy. And this is where you generate a Archon admin password. You click generate password and then save this to let's say a file or something. This is the password that you need in order to be admin. Not to worry, if you forget it, you can always regenerate it. 
With that, let's go back to the main view. We're going to hit restart to make sure that the new configurations take effect and you see it is preparing to restart, stopping it and it will start it up again. If you need to update Palworld to the latest version, click stop and then update. And it will run an update task which will download and make sure you have the latest version of the game server. For a quick view of the details you needed to connect to the server, click connect to server and it will tell you it's running on this port and it's listening to here and you connect via this. So you simply mark this and copy it. Start the game in Steam. Navigate to join multiplayer game. Click OK. Down here, if you've selected a password, take that in. Type in the IP in port that we just copied and hit connect. It will tell you to input the password. So I'm going to do that. You click OK. And we are now on the new Palworld server that I just set up. We're just going to confirm this and we're going to start game. Yes, yes, I'm good. And we're waking up in Palworld with a bunch of new pals. That's all there is to it. You can now share your IP port and password with your friends and they will be able to log into your server as well. If you ever run into issues, you can click the assistance button and then choose the category. Let's say this one, describe it, detailed description, and you can create a ticket. I've now walked you through how to navigate to hostinger.com slash video to get your own rented virtual private server and installing the Palworld game server on it and configuring it ready for gameplay. Make sure you click the link in the description when you order and use the video 42 discount code for even better value. I hope you've enjoyed this guide. Why not share the guide with others who are also looking to set up a Palworld server and help them out too. See you in the next video friends.